so a lot of people own samsung galaxy devices but do not know the capabilities of the phone they have in their hands in this video i'm going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks um, that you have embedded in your samsung galaxy device and without further ado let's get into the video so the first one is power sharing you can share power to any device that uses the power delivery technology and so you can share power to your friends samsung galaxy device or even an iphone um and i'm gonna try this with this microphone because it's also power delivery so you can see that that is really helpful next up is the keep screen on feature to turn this on go to settings then go to um, advanced features then motion and gestures then keep screen on while viewing turn this on and with this feature you can keep your screen on whenever you're reading a pdf because you know sometimes the screen tends to go off while reading the pdf next on the list is this feature that lets you mute calls with your hand to turn this on you need to go first to your settings and when you go to settings go to advanced features then motion and gestures then click um, turn on mute with gestures mute with gestures so with that feature um, whenever someone calls you you can just place your hand the entire palm on the screen to mute the call and it's pretty great the next feature is the pop-up view and you can see how just by swiping from the top right corner of my phone i can convert the app i am using into a pop-up and i can move it around round around around anywhere i want and i can use it just as it is and this helps multi this helps in multitasking i can get back to it whenever i want um, using that small icon right there and to close the pop-up all you need to do is to drag the application um, down to the bottom of the screen and you see remove right there so it just goes away to turn this on go to advanced features then open labs on the labs you can see swipe for pop-up view so it's already turned on and that was why i was able to swipe up from the top right corner of my device of the display to uh, open any app in pop-up view next up is the screen recording feature where you can now show your face while doing a screen record and you could need to do this sometimes when you're recording so that you can do your illustration properly or show your facial expressions to do this tap on the person icon that shows um, on that pop-up when you're doing a screen record and you can see that the camera opens up and you can show your face <laughs> next you have the pro mode for your camera so to launch this um, open your camera application go to more then pro and when you open your pro mode it lets you have control over the ISO the speed the EV the focus center and many other features but this is all is for like people that are more keen on cameras and stuff like that you also have pro mode for video and to launch this you need to go back and swipe go to pro video mode and here you also have control over speed iso uh, ev your white balance your zoom a lot of things and this is also for people that are keen on cameras and stuff like that i personally haven't um, learned some of these settings but if you've done so it will be very helpful for you shows you what you can do on a samsung device you can also use um, portrait video mode which is similar to cinematic mode what we have on the iphone as cinematic mode and it takes great um, videos i mean look at that focus as long as the lighting is okay it takes great videos next up is highlight reels just by selecting some um, photos from your gallery any random photos you want 
your device can create highlight reels for you. Like, and you can control a lot of things like the speed of the video. Um, you can also add titles to the video. I mean, it's really great. You can add title, maybe how my day went or something. Uh, I wrote my day for this one, my experience, or if you're doing the vlog, or if you went for um, hiking or you went for a picnic, you can just take some photos and your AI tools on the um, Galaxy device would create a highlight reel for you. You can even adjust the position of some of the photos, which one comes first. Next is the object eraser tool. So open your gallery. This photo, I want to take off that mouse that is there. So all you need to do is to click the three dots and click the three dots again. Select object eraser. It's going to process for a while. Then um, draw around the object that you want to erase. And the AI tool embedded in your device is going to take off that object. And you can see it's completely gone. Wow, so clean. And um, you can also uh, bring it back to normal. You can just click on revert if you want to take it back to normal, or you can just click save to take the image that you have. So I'm just going to revert that and you can see it's back. Number 10 is the two finger swipe, which you can use for split screen. And to do this, go to settings, advanced features, labs swipe for split screen mine is on right now you need to turn yours on if you haven't done that and when you've done that you can swipe up from the bottom of the display and with your two fingers to launch split screen mode and with this you can multitask open two apps at the same time you can open just any app that allows um split screen i open spotify right now while my settings app is still open and that helps you multitask a lot you can also change the length of one app and you can also switch between on the two open windows pretty great i must say because i'm a fan of this sometimes i just don't want to close some applications next is the side key to use this feature, go to settings, then advanced features, then side key. And you can choose to use that to, to launch a specific app. And you can also choose to use it to launch the camera. I, I love to use it to quickly launch my camera so I can take a photo or a video of any moment that is passing. Another feature that is great is the dual audio mode. So I have these two devices connected on Bluetooth. And uh, I just need to swipe down on my home screen, then click on media output. It's going to bring out this option so you can also select the AirPods Pro. So now your audio is going to be transmitted or it's going to be playing on two uh, devices. So if you're on a plane and you want to watch a movie with your friend or your spouse, you can use two AirPods or something like that. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, if you learned something new, please leave me a like and also subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.